Hi everyone, thanks for watching. In this video, we'll be discussing using Fallout Hobby stencils combined with an extreme corrosion paint technique. The model that I'll be using this on is a Mariner's Blight Zothamog Demon Engine. This is a custom conversion I did a few years ago and never got around to painting. It's made from a Chaos Marine Mauler Fiend combined with a Mutilith Vortex Beast Mouth and a Crix Leviathan Helljax legs. It's mounted on a secret weapon miniature skull fields base. After priming the model, I've base coated it with, with a layer of Vallejo Air Rust on the armor sections and Warlord Purple on the skin sections. Now I'm going to add texture using what I like to call art store specials. These are cheap, fat, synthetic brushes. I'm not worried if they get messed up and they're really good for quick texture. Here I'm stippling on Citadel's uh, Baylor Brown uh, over top of the Vallejo Rust sections to break up the color a bit. Now it's time to apply the stencils. Each Fallout Hobby stencil comes with instructions for use, as well as this awesomely designed ad on the back, which everyone should take notice of. I peel away the vinyl from the backing paper. Normally, I would suggest spraying through the negative space inside the stencil, but for this particular effect, we'll be using the positive part of the stencil. I gently apply the stars to the rust areas I want exposed.
Now it's time to do some salt weathering. This is a really cool technique. I use my wife's Aussie hairspray. I spray the model in sections and sprinkle coarse kosher salt over the armor. The reason I use kosher salt is because it's thicker and chunkier than table salt and I think it gives a better rust effect when washed away. Once the model is salted to my liking, I spray the base color Vallejo Air Pale Green. This is kind of the uniform armor green of the model that all the weathering will be done on top of. Now I brush on Tim Holtz Ranger Distress Crackle Paint. I found this in AC Moore. Uh, it's an art store. It's available in many places online. The paint comes in many colors, but this particular color is called Peeled Paint, and it works best for the green color I'm trying to achieve with this model.
Once the paint dries overnight, it will create patches of cracked peeling paint. Once I remove the chaos stencils, it'll reveal the rust underneath the cracked and peeling paint. Now I wash the salt away from the model with a toothbrush and some warm water. I make sure to get all the salt removed because any salt that's left over could cause a frosting underneath uh, a clear varnish if you apply a clear varnish to your model. Once the model is fully dry again, I mix up a wash of diluted Druki Violet, airbrush thinner, and filtered water. I go a little willy-nilly here, I just make it a very thin wash. Uh, it varies from model to model, I don't have a particular formula for it. The reason that I chose purple is because on the color wheel, purple is the exact opposite of green. So creating this thinned purple wash really accentuates the contrast between the cracked paint. It brings out all those little details and just makes it all nasty and rotten looking. I love it.
Once the entire model is dry, I add a final effect of rust. I'm using Model Mate Rust Effect Liquid, which is really hard to come by in the States. It's an absolutely amazing product. It has zero US distribution. So if you're, if you're lucky enough to find a store in Europe that will ship to the US, by all means, buy this stuff. It's amazing. One day, I would like to produce, produce an analogous product for Fallout Hobbies if uh, US distribution never happens for Model Mates. And there you have it, an extreme rust corrosion effect combined with Fallout Hobby's chaos stencils for a very unique effect. Stay tuned for part two of this video, where I'm going to discuss how to use another Fallout Hobby stencil to create a really cool skin effect on all these pink tentacled skin areas. It's going to be super cool, so check it out. Thanks for watching our video and make sure to check us out at fallouthobbies.com and on Facebook.